These are my two sons. Yes. This is oh a. God, I think it's spotted lantern fly. Just blew out of my face. Do you see one anywhere? No. Okay. This is a Monstera Aransanii, and this is a Monstera Deliciosa. We're going to be propagating them and repotting them. I'm allowing the plant queen, Brit, to do this for me. So this is the before. I'm gonna do a nice before and after. They're gonna go through an entire renovation. Wish them luck. We're gonna give them I really genuinely think you should cut the big leaf. All right, do whatever you need to do. Oh my God. Oh, I have two plants. Yeah, these are literally two separate plants. I had no idea. Huh? Bye. This thing is just in such weird shape. And we're gonna put a little soil at the bottom. We have something to stick the moss pole into. And we insert the moss pole with a mixture of potting soil and orchid bark and perlite to promote aeration. Really getting in there. Mm -hmm. It's just very leggy. It's, it's a haircut for sure. It's a haircut. It needs more light. It want like it's reaching for the light. It's gonna be so happy with that moss pole. It might still look like limp for like a couple like a couple weeks, but after a while it'll perk up because it's gonna a lot less energy is gonna go into like support and it can go into like growth. There. Oh my god. Next. Jesus crotch. What mother wouldn't be horrified watching the child get chopped up like this? We got two different propagations. And then kind of the box. Two nodes. Those roots are insane. The thick. Hashtag root porn. That. They lure up. Alright, so I just wanna like line up the back of it with the moss pole. It is very leggy and there's so much root that like wasn't under the soil. So that needed to be fixed immediately. There's an aerial root that's already growing out of it, but those can just be redirected into soil rather than the moss pole. So I'm just gonna set it so it's on its way back down. And that'll provide it some more stability. It honestly looks so much happier already. Dude, I'm telling you, chopping it is the way to go. It needed to happen. So these are the renovated Baby. So now make sure you keep the moss pole wet and then the aerial roots will be attracted to How it. do I wet the moss pole? Spray them. I don't have a spray bottle. Buy one. And then what do I do with my sons? Put them in water when you go home. Like don't like get them too submerged because like there's a new leaf that's going to come out here. So don't go past like here. Now we have a one month update going on with these queens. Let's get into it. Let's start with this pretty lady. She was quite in distress before. She still might be now, but she's honestly doing a lot better. This is a whole new leaf, and a bunch of the other leaves are actually getting a lot bigger, so pretty good. And here is my absolute pride and joy. Since cutting her a month ago, she has two full new leaves, and there's another one coming out of the sheath right here. So honestly, that's really good growth, and I'm really impressed with how far she's come. Now we're gonna take a look at these leaf cuttings that we took, and I initially took two cuttings, if you remember. The one had two leaves, and then the one had one leaf, but then I realized the extra leaf had a node on it, so it was capable of growing roots. So I did that a little bit later, but she's rooting very nicely, and I'm gonna end up putting her in soil very soon. And then these other two, I already repotted, and they're going well. This, so much new growth already. Can't wait. 